the um, secret club but it was that they had it all bright, all bright coloured chalets and everything was so bright and the flower beds and lights and this is what people wanted to see you see after the war of all the greys and khakis and it just gave them an uplift and the fountains were flowing and uh, you know all blues and reds and, and this is what people wanted to see and it made them um, sort of just for that day or that week to win a, a fairy land. About 60 permanent staff are losing their jobs, and around a thousand seasonal workers won't be spending their summers in Filey anymore. But as for the economy of the town itself, no one's quite sure how great the impact is likely to be. The figures were conclusive. Filey, the bookings of Filey had been dropping quite dramatically over the last three or four years. The season, we found it almost impossible to extend the season. Um, and it was really just figures. Uh, we didn't pluck Filey out of the air, so to speak. I mean, it was, it was very, very clear whichever way one allocated costs and looked at booking trends, looked to fu the future, um, Filey just wasn't standing up uh, on its viability. I can honestly say that when I came back from three weeks holiday on the 13th of October, rumours started, which was the very first I'd heard. Before I went on holiday, we were um, planning the winter. I had no idea. I think everybody is very sad, even if they get another job, within or without the organisation. I think they'll all be very sad in May next year. I don't believe that the buildings are any more dilapidated than they are in other centres of the same age. We have, after all, got three centres which were built considerably post-war, and the rest were all started prior to 1939. Filey just happens to be one of those five. The catchment area from which we draw most of our holiday makers has perhaps been more affected by recession than other parts of the country. So it was all flowing down the outside of the pipe, not going inside the pipe. Yeah. Six years ago, Trevor Guy found himself thrust into the glare of publicity when it was announced he was to buy the former Butlins holiday camp in Filey. At first, the project to take on the ageing complex was welcomed by the local community. But despite his assurances at the time that his bid was well financed, it quickly became apparent that all was not well. On the opening day, workmen were still desperately working to give the site a facelift, and most of the camp's chalets hadn't been touched. But within weeks, the entire project had collapsed, and Trevor Guy had to face crowds of angry creditors, many of whom had lost large amounts of money. We're actually in the world of business, so um, they understand the, um, the rules of business. But today, the former Butlin site is still in ruins, and the legacy of Trevor Guy's venture is still remembered. Not only had quite a lot of local people lost significant amounts of money, but uh, again, uh, the site was back to where it was 18 months earlier, uh, and now we really felt that, uh, that we were in trouble as far as Butlin's was concerned.